Today I've got the cutest sewing craft to share with you. It's this adorable little baby skirt. It makes such a cute baby shower gift. The one that I made is made with a knit fabric and it's stretchy so you can make like matching headbands. I made this adorable embroidered onesie to go with it and I did embroidery on the collar that matches the skirt. So make sure you check the notes in the description to find the tutorial for the onesie also. But this skirt is super easy to make. You can make it as a beginner using cotton non-stretchy fabric if you're afraid of the stretch. Um, but anyone can make it. It's a totally beginner project and it is so fun and so cute. I'll walk you through each step of the way on how to make it with your sewing machine. So don't be afraid if you can sew a straight line, you can make this baby skirt. To make this skirt, you'll need fabric. You can either use 100% um, like quilters cotton, or you can use a knit like I'm using here, which is like a stretchy t-shirt fabric. If you're a beginner, I suggest using the cotton. This is going to be harder to sew on because it is stretchy. The amount of fabric that you need will be determined by the length of the skirt, and I'll show you how to determine the length in just a minute. But whatever that length is, just make sure that you have at least that amount in yardage. You'll also need three quarter inch elastic, just enough to go around the baby's waist measurement. You'll need coordinating thread, either a sharp pair of scissors, or I recommend a rotary cutter, ruler, and a cutting mat. And you'll need some straight pins and of course your sewing machine. The skirt's going to be made up of two rectangle pieces. And to determine the size that you'll need, you'll need a flexible measuring tape or a piece of string and a ruler would work also. Um, measure around the baby's waist, that would be the thinnest part, and then measure from the waist down the leg to the top of their knee, or if you wanted to make the skirt longer, you could even measure longer than that. Um, so then the measurement of our two pieces is going to be the waist measurement for this measurement here, and then the length here would be the length from the waist to the knee plus two and a half inches. And you need that two and a half inches to make the hem at the bottom so that there's not a raw edge and also the casing for the elastic up here to hide the elastic. Once you have both of your pieces cut, you're going to flip one and put them right sides together. Make sure that if it's a directional print, so all of my flowers are going up, make sure that they're both facing the same direction. And right sides together just means that the print is facing the print on the other one. It's the right side of the fabric. Now go ahead and pin down both sides of the short sides of the fabric. If you're sewing on regular cotton, just go ahead and skip this part. If you're sewing on jersey knit fabric like I am, um, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna be using my double needle that came with my machine. If you don't have this, um, this is only for, again, if you're using the, the jersey, the stretchy fabric. If you don't have your twin needle, you can also just use a zigzag stitch. So either one um, will work. I'm also using the zigzag presser foot and make sure to read your sewing manual before you use your double needle because it'll tell you which presser foot you need to use. This is my um, brother's CSI 6000 and this is presser foot J, which is the one that I use for everyday sewing. So I don't know if you can see here, but I have my double needle installed on my machine. And then up here, my machine also came with this extra spool. It goes in this hole right here. So I'm gonna be using two spools of thread. I've got the normal one here, and then I'll be putting another one right here. And then I'm just gonna thread both of these like normal into the needles down here. So when I'm threading these, I'm gonna take my normal spool of thread right here and thread it just like I normally would. And the first spool of thread is gonna thread the needle on the left. Go ahead, don't use your needle threader if you have one, and thread it from the front to the back. And then pull that through and put it through the presser foot like you normally would and pull that off to the back. And for the second spool, also thread that one like you normally would. The threads are gonna get a little crisscrossed and that's fine. 
And the second spool of thread will go through the right needle. Same thing as before, don't use your needle threader that is attached to your machine if you have one. Now we're gonna sew a half inch seam down both sides that we pinned and a half inch is just putting the edge of the fabric right along the edge of the presser foot right here. So when you start out, you're gonna go forward a little bit and backward a little bit. And since I'm using my double needle here, I'm just using a regular straight stitch. If you were not using that and you're using a jersey stretch fabric, you'll use a zigzag. If you're just using regular cotton, just go ahead and use a regular straight stitch for this. And take the needles out as you go. When you're done, take the needle up, lift up the presser foot, cut your threads, and then you should have a nice seam going down the side right there. And then just repeat for the other side. So once you get both of those sides sewn up, you should be left with kind of a big tube. And we're going to get the iron out. And first thing you'll want to do is iron the seams open so that they stay flat. So just kind of open them up and take the iron and go along the seams. Next, we're going to create the hem for the fabric. So find the bottom of your fabric if it's directional. So to make the hem, I'm going to fold up the bottom of the fabric about half an inch and then press that all the way around. Next, fold the fabric up again about three quarters of an inch. and then iron that all the way around. And then once that's ironed, I like to put pins all the way around just to make sure that that hem stays in place. Once you have that all pinned, um, repeat the exact same process on the top of the skirt to create the casing for your three quarter inch elastic. Okay, now I'm making sure that I'm working on the bottom of my fabric. I'm going to take this little thing off my sewing machine to give me more room. Open up the skirt, the bottom. If you're sewing on cotton, go ahead and leave your fabric inside out and sew as close to this upper fold here as possible. So I'm sewing with my double needle. I like the look of the double line better on the top. So I'm going to turn my skirt right side out and do, sew about a half an inch. So staying along the edge of the presser foot here to sew my hem. Okay, now I've turned the skirt over to the top and we're gonna make the casing for the elastic and I've got it turned back inside out for my jersey cotton um, just because I need to make sure that I get super, super close to this edge here to make enough room for the casing for my elastic. So I'm gonna make sure that I am right on the edge of this to make room for that. And you're gonna sew all the way around the skirt, but don't come back to your starting point. You wanna leave a few inches of a gap so that you can thread your elastic through. Okay, I've come back to the beginning and I'm leaving a gap about that wide. I'm gonna reinforce this by stitching backwards. And then take that off the machine. Next, you'll want to cut your elastic to the right size. So since the baby that I'm making this for has a waist of 19 and a half inches, I'm going to measure out 19 and a half inches, but you want it to be a snug fit. So you're going to subtract two inches from that measurement. So I'm at 19 and a half. I will go down to 17 and a half and cut my elastic there. Next, we'll thread the elastic through the casing that we made on the waistband. 
take the end of your elastic and put a safety pin on it. This is the easiest way that I have found to do it. Push the safety pin with the elastic attached through the casing and pull it through the fabric as best you can. And this does take a little bit of time and a little bit of finagling depending on how cooperative your skirt and your elastic want to be. Once you get the elastic through to the other side, unhook the safety pin and pin that together to make sure that it doesn't go back in. And then go ahead and straighten out all the fabric over all the elastic. Just make sure it's all evenly distributed. And then get really excited because it's starting to finally look like a skirt. Yay! Take the two ends of your elastic and overlap them slightly, probably about half an inch. And you want to sew back and forth over the overlapped elastic to keep it in place. Once the elastic is sewn together, go ahead and straighten out and distribute all the fabric again. And then we need to sew this part here. You can either do it by hand or be lazy like me and sew it with the machine. And you just wanna make sure that that fold stays closed with the raw edge underneath and sew that down and trim off any loose threads and then you're done. I hope you enjoyed sewing this baby skirt with me today. Make sure to head over to my blog, cutesycrafts.com for more cute baby shower craft ideas and also to get this really fun onesie idea.